Hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, I wanted to do my video today a little bit on the 24 day challenge. I have a few people, about six people on a challenge group right now and actually I feel like this is the most successful group that I have so far and we're just on day three. But here's what's making it successful. Um, for all my challenge groups, I actually set up a Facebook page specifically related to that challenge group. I add people, including my sponsors, to that group and other people who've had successful 24 day challenges with me into the group so that when any questions or concerns or just setting positive inspiration on like, oh, my challenge was this and my challenge was that is there for them to reach out because um, they're new to the process. I also set up a challenge group on the app um, and have them a way for them to kind of ask questions and then make sure that they add me as a coach. So what's the app? It's actually one of the tools that we have available to us is a 24 day challenge app. And all of these items um, are available to us through our microsite to be able to download and um, send off to our team. And four things that I send, um, three of them are on the microsite, is the um, fitness assessment um, form, the um, 24 Day Challenge app and how to download that, and the daily guide is actually in a PDF file there. So I add all those items periodically um, in the week or two weeks before the challenge actually starts. So I keep them engaged and keep giving them information. One other thing that I have added is a sample uh, meal plan that I can actually add for them um, so that they can use those and pre-shop and just really get engaged. Um, the reason why I think this topic is really important right now is because we had um, a post earlier about how people are jumping off or asking for refunds on the 24-day challenge um, because we aren't coaching them and that's our job. That's what we're here for. We're here to help others succeed in achieving their goals, period. That's what we're doing. We have a product that helps us get there and a product that helps us do that easily. So we just have to do the simple steps to make sure that we, they, we help them succeed because really it's not about us. It's about everyone else that we can help and the potential that we can give them. The benefit is we do benefit from that, helping others. Um, one of the other things that's been really, really, really impactful for me on uh, my 24 day challenges um, is this coaching checklist. So hopefully you can't see. Um, so this coaching checklist breaks it down for you. Um, on day one, what are you gonna do? Well, what are you gonna do for pre-challenge? How are you gonna check in? You're gonna set their goals. Make sure the people, the um, challengers, know how to do their assessment, how to take the front and back photos. Um, what do they want to get out of this? Make sure that they understand the daily guide. Um, and then we check in day one. How did you? How do you feel today? Do you have enough energy? Um, you know, how did you eat? Did you stay on track? Do you have any questions? Are you drinking enough water? That's one of the biggest things that I have that happens a lot for most of my group challengers. Then we check in on day three. I checked in on day three today with uh, my challengers and I have, I feel fantastic. I have more energy. I can't believe I waited. Um, things are going great. I can't believe how easy it is. And one of my biggest things is, as making sure they're eating enough, you know, not skipping meals and really stressing. So I really stressed um, eating enough and water this today um, with most of my challengers. So then you check in again on day seven and make sure they're getting ready for the mat, you know, finishing up cleanse, starting max phase. Um, and then checking in to make sure they need to order more product. Are they going through having meal replacement shakes and just being there for them and making sure they're striving to hit their goals because what you don't want to happen is day 14, day 20, where all of a sudden it's starting to get really hard to stay on board or, you know, even day three, if it's hard for them, them quitting, you want them to see that you're there for them because that's building the investment and the value and the success, the success system. Because if you're there for them on the 20 day challenge, you're going to be there for them as they're building their business as part of the team and you guys invest together. So helping them succeed is super important. Um, I hope today's, um, a tidbit on 24 day challenge was helpful. I just think we have to remember that in each step of this process, we need to be sure to step up, help those that we're committing to and stick with them and not drop the ball anywhere. So have a great day and keep on going champions.